morning, my fellow Las Vegas and friends. This occasion marks a very special moment in each of our lives. In just a few brief minutes, your journey as a student will end, and you'll enter into a whole new world of opportunities, one only made possible by the sheet of paper President Delaney will be placing in your hands. Recently, our country has felt compelled to segregate its population by percentages. 22.6, the percentage of adult Americans who have received that same sheet of paper. Ospreys, welcome to the 22%. And then looking back at the events that brought you to the 22%, what will you remember the most? Late night studying in the Thomas Carpenter Library? Studying abroad? Greek life? Club life? OP concerts? How about the Canadian geese? Or constant circling of Garage 38, 44, a lot 18. When I look back, I will reminisce on all of it. Every little occasion that brought me to the landing sheet of paper, every professor, every dorm roommate, and every mentor. Because that's what the American university system is, a collection of unique experiences coupled with some of the most intellectually inspiring individuals this country has fostered, each of them here to help you succeed. As I was putting together this brief address, I thought a lot about how it would challenge each of you to be successful in life especially given the current economic and social conditions across the country. When witnessing these events occur, occur remember some of our institution's core values. The pursuit of truth and knowledge, always paired together with ethical conduct, and always treating those around you with the mutual respect they deserve, the mutual respect and civility they deserve. With that in mind, I want to leave you with something that would apply as much to you as it would to the graduates sitting to your right and left. In 2009, our nation's president gave a commencement address at Arizona State University. And I think, I think his words will resonate just as much with you today as they did with the ASU graduates that semester. He was talking about our nation's challenges and how passion, perseverance, and success go hand in hand. He said the following. I know starting careers in troubled times is a challenge, but think of it also as a privilege. Because it's moments like these that will force us to try harder dig deeper, and to discover gifts we never knew we had. To find the greatness that lies within each of us. So don't ever shy away from that endeavor. Don't stop adding to your body of work. I can promise you that you will be better for that continued effort, as will this nation that we all love. Ospreys, my advice? Take risks, but act wisely. Always take yourselves and others seriously, but try to laugh often. Say please and thank you out of consideration, not requirement. Love. Think outside the box. Trust the facts, not the noise, and constantly seek wisdom. Remember the people in your life who have helped you get where you are today, and never miss an opportunity to become that person for someone else. Do what you love. Live with passion. And never settle, because it's never too late to make a difference. Class of 2012, congratulations.